Hello everyone, my name is Python and welcome back once again to another Calamity Death Mode episode. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. It is a bright and beautiful sunny morning here in Terraria, my friends. And uh, once again, can I just say a whopping massive thank you for the support in the last episode, reaching still well over a thousand likes. Again, guys, if we can keep that up, I will keep on with the daily episodes throughout the weekdays. Now! We are starting off with the traveling merchant who has decided to arrive and also I just popped off a torch because I'm a bit of a nincompoop. But anyways, look at this guys, we've got ourselves some uh, food, we've got ourselves an ammo box, very nice. Leopard skin, could probably get away with putting that in here, why not? Uh, we've got some more pad thai, I mean, yeah, why not? And then of course guys, we have ourselves a cape. I can finally reassume my proper character status as a caped warrior of awesomeness. Hell yeah, boys. Mate, I look amazing. Platinum armor plus the mysterious cape. Mate, it looks badass. It really, really does. But anyways, guys, today the end goal is to try and take down the Eater of Worlds. Of course, we had a little bit of difficulty in the last episode doing exactly that, uh, in that we tried it four times down here, and we didn't have any success. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the left-hand side corruption, whereby there's quite a lot of shadow orbs, and the intention is to hopefully be able to take these guys down. Yeah, I'm hoping we'll be able to do it. Apparently, this mushroom plasma root, I didn't read it correctly. Permanently makes rage mode do 80% more damage in death mode. So, boop, there we go. So, basically, when I activate rage mode, I will be doing 80% more damage permanently now. That is a pretty damn badass amount of uh, increase, if you ask me. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of amazing. That's kind of amazing. So anyways, guys, I got myself like three of each buff potion that I was using before. And uh, hopefully, by having all of this stuff, we should be able to get on with, uh, hopefully, taking down the Eater of Worlds. It's just started raining as well. I hope that is no indication as to how, how this episode is going to go. I just got a wizard hat. Oh my god. And now I can look even more badass. Well, I don't know. I kind of like that helmet. kind of looks amazing. It looks amazing. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's get this thing rolling, shall we? Actually, just before getting on with any of that, a user by the name of Warrior Curio says, Fabsol, the Calamity mod creator, didn't like how Icy Water gave you the chill debuff and removed it. To compensate for it, he made it so Icy Water makes you drown a lot faster. So let's just quickly give that a go. So if I come down here... Uh, yep, that's going down at the normal rate. And now if we head over to a snow biome and give that a go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, it goes down a lot quicker. That's really good. Yeah, there's no chill debuff. Like, if you look up here, while I'm in the icy waters, there's no chill debuff. Nice one. That's actually a very, very good idea. Well done. Well done, Fabsol. That's actually really, really good. I mean, the chill debuff absolutely is like one of the most pain in the ass things going. Uh, but uh, yeah, it actually kind of makes realistic sense as well. Because, you know, you're catching your breath and all that kind of stuff uh, while you're trying to get out of the freaking icy waters, right? So yeah, it kind of makes sense. So yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Alrighty, well, there's the first shadow orb gotten. And we got a, a shadow orb. <laughs> Out of it. Okay, that's fair enough. Right, I just want to quickly start bridging over to some of this stuff. Honestly, the smoother the landscape, the, the better our chances are at surviving. In my opinion, that is, of course. Uh, so, if I try and reduce any amount of, uh, you know, water that's around here, then I... Oh, what the hell? Whoa, this guy's a bit mad. Good God. Wow. What a madman. What a madman. Right, there we go. So let's continue on. Like there's a bunch of water around here, but we should be okay. I mean, look at that. We've just we've just made this place a lot smoother, which is very very nice. Okay, so uh, let's quickly do this one. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, probably one more. Boop. There we go. That should hopefully do the job. Uh, okay, well, maybe one more still. Uh, maybe over there, actually. Oh, hello. How you doing there, sir? Right, there we go. Fantastic. Right, we've got that done. So, if I just do this. So, once again, make the top. Oh, god damn it. Python, you're such an idiot. Why did you do that, bro? Good lord. Right. Boop. And I want to be able to actually get up here. That would be fantastic, Python, you big noob. Right, here we go. Is that the second one? Yep, that is the second one. Yet another regular Shadow War. What the heck, Terraria, bro? 
What you doing to me, man? What are you doing to me, man? Right, we need to find, like, another easily accessible one. Maybe... I'm going to say this one over here, because then we could just sort of dash in between all of this place. Although, I am tempted to use the rest of these bobs to try and heighten this area. What do you guys think? I think that might be a good idea. Right, so, let me just quickly do this. One, two, three, four? I think four will do the job. Boop, and a boop, and a boop. Okay, and one more. And then we should have access to this place. And then away we go, right? There we go. Fantastic. All right, we did blow it up by accident, which is fantastic. So, once again, let's just make sure we're able to get out of it fairly easily. There we go. All right, in fact, I'm going to go and uh, put platforms down there. So, you know, the, the less I do, the better, ideally, really. So, yeah. Okie doke. Right, let's continue on with the smoothing out of the terrain, though. Make sure there's nowhere where we'll get caught out. Uh, that's all looking good so far. There's a bunch of stuff going on here. There's a dude. Oh, hello. There's a dude somewhere around. Oh, good God. All right, man. All right, mate. Come on, then. You want to go? Oh, I'll go. Yeah, get wrecked, you freaking butthead. Wait, you get two rotten chunks from those guys? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Calm yourself there, brother. Jeez, man. Come on, then. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. Everything's good. I didn't realize you get two rotten chunks from the devourers. That's kind of interesting. Huh. I didn't know that. I thought you only got, I thought you only ever got one from each of the uh, devourers, but hey-ho, you know, I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's worse things to cry about. I think that's amazing, actually. So, yeah, guys, right, this is probably gonna wound up, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, sluggish? He's gonna be slower than normal. Uh. Okay, right. Now it's a freaking beast, this guy. If I can! What? Oh, the cursed flame got me. Of all the things to get me, that's what got me? The cursed flames? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, mate. Okay, right. How's our, how's our uh, rotten chunk supply looking? Looking fairly decent. There is a possibility I might be able to make a summoner. If I can make myself a summoner, then we should be okay. So, rotten... Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, in here? Yeah, rotten chunk. Yeah, there we go. All right, and uh, we've got the vile thorn there. Just a regular one. Uh, might as well just go and chuck that in there. I mean, why not? In fact, everything here, to be honest, could probably just go in there. Uh, right, and then we are looking also for vile powder. Let's grab all of that out. We should be able to make ourselves one summoner to actually be able to try and take him down on the surface. If we could take him down on the surface, well, to be honest, I think it would be a lot easier on the surface. So, as a matter of fact, why don't we go over to the right hand corruption and try it over there, eh? Let's give it a go, guys. Let's give it a go. Really? The blood moon is rising? Terraria? Are you, like, actually trying to troll me today? Because, uh, I'll tell you something, you definitely succeed- Well, actually, there might be a silver lining here. The more guys that spawn in, the more chances I'm gonna have of, uh, being able to <laughs> summon in the Eater of Worlds, right? Because, you know, there's gonna be, like, a ton of people. Yeah, look at this, man. Yeah, and loot bags. Hey, that's- that's actually kind of okay. <laughs> hey, man, the more freaking rotten chunks, the better. You know what I'm saying? I'm all right with that. Go on, all of you, get out of here, you bunch of freaking joker buttheads. Go on, off you go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we're getting lots of stuff. Loot bags and rotten chunks galore. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Ow! Get off me! Leave me alone! Maybe I'll go underground. I can't remember if the uh, Blood Moon uh, affects underground spawns. I'm kind of hoping it does, because then I can, like, utilize the Blood Moon. Ah! Ow! You freaking son of a gun! All right, let's get down here real quick. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing there, brother? Oh, I'm going to get out of here, you bunch of poos. All right, there you go. Hey, man, look at that. We're getting loads of rotten chunks. <laughs> Fantastic. Ooh, we got fetid essence as well. Right, where's this made? At an anvil and 7% increased damage reduction and plus three defense while in the corruption. Not entirely sure that it's going to be a, I don't know, any damage reduction is good damage reduction, right? And the magic cuffs are something that I haven't actually been using. But then again, we need three of these things. So, yeah, we can't make it anyway yet. So, anyways, all is good. All is good. Right. Now then, let's continue on, shall we? I'm going to break this bad boy open. In fact, can I like, lure you guys over here? Ah, oh, mate, what the hell? There's a lot, these guys are huge, bro. Good God. <laughs> Those guys are huge, bro. They've been at the they've been at the freaking gym a lot, huh? 
Good lord. Right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this here Blood Moon. See how many uh, materials we can actually farm out of these guys. We've got four loot bags so far. Not a bad start, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, like I say, let's continue on. Let's see what we can get. And let's see how many summoners we can make. A meteorite has just landed. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We're getting plenty of materials out of these guys. Five loot bags. 49 rotten chunks is now the amount we're at. I'm kind of surprised I haven't come across any other bits of ancient shadow armor. It has to be said. But, uh... You know, all is good. All is good. <laughs> oh, my. We're going to be able to make ourselves... Well, the limited factor at this point is actually going to be the vile powder. We've got enough vile powder for three summoners, I do believe. And, well, actually, three summoners right now is the amount I can make because I've got more than 45 rotten chunks. Don't mind if I do, man. Go on, all of you lot. <laughs> if you haven't noticed already, I've got myself uh, an Eater of Souls banner down here. So, yeah, uh, this is kind of good for, like, poning people. <laughs> It's pretty dang good. Aha! Goodbye to you, Blood Moon. Goodbye to you. Good God, there's a lot of stuff on the floor that I haven't been able to pick up. Look at all these banners, man. The banners are pretty useful. Like, people always underestimate the power of banners. Well, you really, really shouldn't, buddy. Anyway, let's uh, quick stack all of that back up to four platinum. Uh, for those of you guys wondering why I haven't got that much now, it's because I went ahead and reforged a bunch of my weapons. Look at this godly Arcalis. We've got ourselves all sorts of stuff. Demonic coal spout. We've got lots of things going on, guys. Got a lot of things going on. So, uh, let's just go ahead and start putting some stuff away. We've got a lot of, uh, well, we've got a lot of, got a lot of stuff going on here. We've got dripper banners. We've got all sorts. Wow. Okay. And then there's like a bunch of stuff over here as well. Oh, and there's the ancient shadow greaves. <laughs> okay. So we did get one. Brilliant. Wow. I didn't even see it drop, but hey ho. That's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Right. And we got a vol bunch of vile mushrooms. Nice. If I added it back to base, we could actually make four summoners, which is, you know, kind of nice. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Right. Come on, boys. Boop. And yeah, I think we're going to head back to base. We're going to get ourselves a bunch more vile powder. And then away we go from there, I guess. Oh, look, the traveling merchant again has arrived for the second day in a row. <laughs> cool. All right, good sir. What have you got for me? What's your name this time? Abraham, what do you got? Life form analyzer. Yep, definitely useful. Extendo grip. Not entirely sure if I've already got that one, but I'm going to take it anyway. And a bunch of uh, vanity related stuffs as well. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go ahead. Wow, I've got a lot of... Oh, I've already got a freaking life form analyzer. Good job, Python. You're the freaking goofball idiot. Good God. Anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, ooh. Another lava charm. Some lucky climbing claw. Some coal. Not bad. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a trident down there as well. Hey. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Well, let's get all this stuff uh, put away. And then, ladies and gentlemen, the time has, has actually come to actually do this thing. So, let's get back over there. We've got a full rage meter now as well. So, we should be able to start noticing, you know, 80% increased damage, I think it said it was. So, that's a hell of an increase. I'm very, very interested to see what kind of damage I could do with it, with that. Alrighty, guys. So, here we are back at the corruption. I've made myself a bit of a sky bridge rail mini arena thingy. And hopefully... What will happen is that the Eater of Worlds will not be able to get us on the platform. So, let's get down here. We've got ourselves four summoners. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a bunch of chances. I think this one's going to be a pretty damn good chance considering we have the Rage Meter filled up. And, as a result, more health, which is kind of awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's buff up. Boop. Let's get the summons going. And let's roll. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. He's here, apparently. Hello! Okay, so apparently he can come over here. That's, uh, that's good to know. <laughs> okay, I'm already taking a bunch of damage. Oh, my word. Right! I don't even know what to use at this point. I mean, the cold spot's pretty good. I'm using it. Ow! Yeah, that vile spit it certainly isn't helping there, but... Oh, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm yourself. Calm yourself there, brother. Right. I've got 13 health left. What a fantastic amount of health that is, man. Let me tell you. Right. Uh, uh, somehow, I've got to try and avoid all of this. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, come on. Oh, my goodness me. That's, that's a lot of dudes, man. That's a lot of dudes. Come on. Do I not have heart beach? Oh! Oh, Jesus! Ah, I thought my dodging was a bit better than that. Where was the heart reach? 
Dude, I want to know where the heart reach was. Did I have too many buffs? I think I had too many buffs. Right. Uh, oh, Crimson Heart. That's pretty interesting. Oh, man. I thought my dodging was on point there. Good God. All right. We're going to give it another go. There's no reason not to. Although, I don't feel like the rage did anything. I don't know, man. Maybe that's just me. Anyways, let's get you chucked in there. You chucked in there. You, 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 and you. Uh, right. What could we potentially do without? Bounce Potion, maybe? I don't think we're going to really take full damage. So I'm going to put that in there. Tortoise Potion, definitely. Mana Regen, Mana Power, definitely. Thorns, definitely. Ammo Reservation, probably not. Heart Reach, Endurance. Uh, Swiftness might be another one we might not necessarily need. So, yeah. Okay. We've got a slightly more focused amount of uh, buffs going on here. So, yeah. All right, guys. Once again, we're going to give it another go. Oh, I really hope that Heart Reach is actually activated this time. I think I might have been, like, too far off of the edge of the list at the point where it wasn't actually on, despite me using it, you know? So, yeah. Guys, another go. Uh, another rocking good, like, thing. Uh, meme. Yeah, that. All right, come on, boys. Whew. All right. All right, man. All right, just keep it calm, Python. You're doing a good job in keeping it calm so far, buddy. We're all good. We've got three more chances. I could just buy a bunch more buff potions if necessary as well. So, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. And check it out. We're getting ourselves a bunch of Demonite as well. The more Demonite we get, there is a possibility that we'll be able to make the Shadow Armor before we've even defeated the Eater of Worlds, which, you know, would be kind of cool. All right, let's open this. Platinum Bars. Not bad, not bad. Right, I'm buffing up. And this time, I want to make sure that Heart Reach is on us. Regeneration, Sweet Adrenaline. Right, there's the Heart Reach. Let's activate and let's go. All right. It's the spit we're going to need to be careful of, boys. Oh, I just realized I don't need to, like, spam click to use this thing. Ow! Ouchie! It's kind of hurting there, Boski. Go on, off you go. Hey man, we're doing a good amount of damage, man. Good amount of damage. Let's just keep our dodge on, you know? Keeping the dodge on. Ow! Ah! Oh. Come on. Not doing bad. Let's get that health up real quick. If the fungal clump is near me, then, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of okay. Oh, that venom is kind of doing damage to me, man. I'm not okay with this. Come on. Keep it going, man. Keep it going. The dodging is definitely being a, a, a beneficial thing to us right now. Oh! Let's not go too far. Let's not go too far out of the freaking eater of worlds' as biome. Oh my word! There we go. Ow! Why did I just jump into that? Come on, Python. You're better than this, bro. <laughs> Good God! Right, nine thousand health, man, and he's split into three sections. Only three. Okay. If there's like, oh, well, make it, make that four. There's probably going to be an absolute ton more, and he's ah, ah. Okay. Okay, go, 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 go. The coal spout is definitely doing the job. Like, this is actually kind of amazing. Come on. Come on, Python. Keep your dodge on there, buddy. And up you come. There we go. 7,000 health. Oh, my word. Okay, we just about managed to dodge that. I think that was the counter scarf coming into effect there. There we go. Nine, uh, 6,000 health at this point. 6,000. Only 6K. Oh, my God. There's so many things flying at me. Okay. A little bit of health as well. Very, very nice. Mm, 4,000. Not bad. We're getting there. Uh, okay, okay. Make that 1,000 health. We're very, very close, guys. Very, very close. Come on, man. There we go. That's another one gone. Another one bites the dust, boys. Ow. Ow. Come on. 1,000. Oh, I think we've got it this time, guys. I think we've got it this time. Should we, like, finish it off? Finish him. Get wrecked. Come on, you freaking butthead. You're going down, Sonny Jim! You may have 800 health, I've got 200. What are you going to do about it? You've, been, you've had all your health taken down by someone who's got, like, not even, like, uh, uh, like 1% of your health. Well, I don't actually know, to be honest. Oh, uh, come on. Just keep it going, boys. Okay, okay, that one's almost done. Make that, he is done. Hey, we got a loot bag from that one as well. Crap, that's kind of cool. Hey, man, come on, dude, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Come on, just come, just come directly up, hey. Come on. Off you go. Off you go. Come on. Up you come. Come on. There you go. Ha 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 ha. You just got absolutely bamboozled, sunshine. Woo. We did it, folks. We did it. There we go. Bit of an endurance fight. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know, man. I wanted to use my Arcanist, but I knew that if I tried to get close to the Eater of Wads, I probably would have just got absolutely, like, killed, you know? So, yeah, that would explain that one. But, hey-ho, we did it. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, freaking yeah. Home time with a good old feeling of victory. I'll tell you something, that's pretty damn cool. Anyways, the corruption. Ah, the rotten and forever deteriorating landscape of infected life, brought upon by a deadly microbe long ago. It is rumored that this microbe was created by a race predating the Terrarians. The Eater of Worlds. Perhaps it was just a giant worm infected by the microbe. Seems likely given the origins of this place. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Right, so anyways, uh, we've got lore items in here, so let's get you two placed in there. And then I've been placing the torn note bits in here. Now, apparently, you can sell these things to the jeweler NPC and get yourself some cool things out of it. So let's just quickly experiment with that. I mean, they, they seem to refer back to, uh, to uh, quite a lot. Five gold! Okay, so every time we get a torn note, we can sell it for five gold. I mean, we're not going to need duplicates, are we? Not really. Let's just, you know, we're just being reasonable here. We've got another novice score, some dynamite. Dynamite! Not bad, man, not bad. And let's open this bad boy. There's the worm scarf, the almighty worm scarf, guys. You can't go wrong with the worm scarf. The bloody worm scarf. Uh, bloody worm tooth. I, don't, I can't remember where you get the bloody worm tooth from. Uh, the worm tooth. Bloody worm tooth is gotten here. Uh, vertebrae, crimtain bars, ver oh, okay, all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're gonna have to try and make our own crimson at some point. I mean, we 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 don't not have the ability to do that. I mean, we've got a bunch of seeds in there, haven't we? Look at this. Uh, fire blossom. Yeah, crimson seeds. Look, we're gonna make our own. That's kind of cool. But anyways, guys, check it out. The worm scarf is the thing that is like, holy crap, that's kind of amazing because you know reduces damage taken by seventeen percent. Very nice. Very nice. I'm absolutely okay with that. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have the almighty still to do. Let's head back in here. Let's put all of this stuff in here. I mean, why not? Just keeping things organized. We've got the worm food in there as well. Anyways, so, demonite bars? Uh, no, wait. It's that one. I'm pretty sure I've right clicked on that one. Demonite bars? Is it, like, case sensitive? It's case sensitive. That's interesting. I didn't realize that. Right, anyways, we've got all of that going on in there. And now, shadow armor. Boop. There's one. Boop. There's two. And boop. There's the third. All right, anything good? Uh. Huh. There's no reforges on it. That's interesting. 20 more defense. We could definitely get some more out of that. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at what we can make with the demonite bars. Uh, is there like an easy way of doing this? Lights bank, and I like organize it by default sort and sort by name. Yeah, that might be easier. So if I go down to like demonite or nightmare, ah, sod it. Let's just type it in. There we go. Boop. There's the nightmare pickaxe. Fantastic. It's a bad one, but hey ho, we'll get ourselves a different one very shortly. Uh, lights bane. I can't. I can't remember if we actually got that already. So let's grab that. Okay. And uh, what else have we got? Like, what else can we actually do with demonite bars? Boop, 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 Demonite. Demonite bars. And yeah, this is all the stuff you can get with demonite bars. Okay, fantastic. So, demonite storage upgrade. We could probably get a couple more of those. If we went to a tinkerer's workshop, we could transmutate the demonite bars into crimtain bars. Which would actually prove quite useful. And we've got a tinker table in there. Crimtain bars. There we go. Uh, let's make, I'm going to say 20. Because why not? And then maybe we have a quick look and see what we can do with that. So we've got the artery yo-yo. There's the crimson rod. This thing might prove to be very useful, actually. So let's grab that. Fantastic stuff. Okay, we've got the crimson heart down there. Crimson storage upgrade. That also increases it by 80. Uh, we've got the blood butcher if we really wanted. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. The panic necklace. We've already got that a few times over, I think. Uh, rotted fork. I don't know. I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good, guys. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so, remind me how to make the bloody worm tooth. Uh, can you, like, get out of it? N no. N no. N no. 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 Uh, bloody worm tooth. Good God. This is taking way too long. Anyways, blood sample and vertebrae. So, we need to take down the perforators, I do believe. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that until we somehow get our own crimson. Hmm. Maybe what we wish to do is, like, infect a random portion of the world. Uh, maybe over here? Although, then again, I don't particularly want... Wait, there's another corruption over there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know where to infect. Like, here? 
it's tempting. We've got Spawn Town here. Like, this entire flat plane I think I'm going to use for this series. But, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to put the Crimson over here. Or maybe underground somewhere. Right? Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's grab the Crimson Seeds and let's try and determine a place to start spreading a homemade Crimson biome. Oh, hey. Check it out. The jeweler, since I've defeated the Eater of Worlds, is now selling a bunch more stuff. The remaining gems, Amber, Band of Star Power, Band of Regen. Pretty cool. Uh, well, actually, I guess on that same note, maybe we should have a look around the place and see if these guys are selling new stuff. What about you? What have you got? Oh! Teleports you to the dungeon entrance. That's awesome! So I don't even have to freaking do anything. Mate, I'm so buying them. Boom. There we go. That's actually going to be very useful. Kind of tempted to use it as like a quick teleport. Hey, look. We've got vile mushrooms in here now. We could buy fallen stars. Vicious mushrooms as well. Wait. Vicious mushrooms. It was vertebrae, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Wow. That's so cool, though, that I could just buy this stuff. The dungeon teleportation potion is actually very, very nice because I'm kind of tempted to infect nearby the dungeon with the crimson and uh, see what goes on from there uh right so uh i'm pretty sure i've got like an absolute ton of dirt in here what if i i'm gonna like leave maybe a couple hundred or so uh something like that and then we'll compact the rest and see what kind of seeds we can get out of it right uh there we go 93 wow okay right what kind of seeds are we gonna get out of this hallowed seeds we're getting hallowed seeds pre-hard mode that's that's brilliant. <laughs> Makes no sense whatsoever, but, you know, there's worse things, I guess. Well, we're up to 15 Crimson Seas now. Let's keep it going. Uh, and there we go. Not bad, not bad. We've got 19 Crimson Seas. That'll be a good amount to uh, start with, won't it? That's pretty cool. And we've got a bunch of sand out of it as well. I kind of like that, that we can get sand outside of going to a, a, a biome for it, you know? That's kind of cool, man. That's kind of cool. Anyways, uh, before we get over that, I quickly just want to organize a few bits and bobs. Uh, let's chuck the armor in here. We've got the crimson rod. We've got various bits and bobs to go ahead and try and reforge. So let's reforge our armor to start out with. What can we get? Spiked, wild, warding. Yeah, more like it, buddy. What else have we got? Spiked, arcane, angry, more damage. Uh, yeah, kind of. Okay, guarding, warding again. Oh, my God. All right, and what about this one? Come on, man. Could we potentially get warding on here as well? Armoured. Ooh. 33 defense. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty damn cool, actually. Right. Let's go and uh, reforge this bad boy. Demonic. Yep. That's pretty cool. And yeah. I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. All right. That is so cool. Mate. I really wish that was a feature in Vanilla Terraria. Just being able to TP to the dungeon. That is sick. That is actually sick. Well done, Alchemist uh, mod developers. That's actually really cool. Right, okay. So, yeah, like I was saying, I kind of want to infect this place around here. Maybe we just quickly chuck some torches up just so we can see. There we go. And then, you know, as we go along, we should hopefully get, like, face monsters spawning in. We'll be able to finally take down Brain of Cthulhu. Like, it'd be kind of cool to be able to take down every single boss, no matter what biome or what kind of biome world we're in, you know? So, let's just... Wait, can I not do this? Does it, oh, wait. Does it have to be, like, dirt? Yeah, it has to be dirt. Okay, fair enough. Boop. Dirt. Boop. Okay, maybe not. Boop. There we go. Oh, mate. This is cool, man. We're going to have ourselves a homemade crimson biome in an otherwise corruption world. Fantastic. Oh, wow. That's spreading super quick. Good God. All right. And over here. The thing is, I kind of want to keep the desert as the desert, you know? Hmm. I don't know, man. Gonna try and figure that one out in a sec. Right, let's get you going on there. Let's get you going on there. Can I like is there like clay anywhere? Because clay is a good way to like stop a biome from spreading, right? Something like that. Right. And one there. There we go. That was our final seed. Right. Can I like break some of these blocks? Oh, okay. So since we can, I can go ahead and use these to my advantage and, you know, prevent the crimson from spreading over to the desert. That is the intention, anyway. So let's just continue doing this. Wow. Dungeon bricks are freaking tough, huh? <laughs> they are actually fairly tough. Right. Boom. And just grab the rest of these. There we go. 23. Let's get 24, just so it's a nice multiple of three. Boom, boom, boom. Torch up there. Why not? And let's get over here and do some stuff. Right. There we go. Oh, that was a bit close, actually. Good lord. Right. There we go. So we go down eight blocks. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
Eight. There we go. Okay, and now we start filling these bad boys in. And then, you know, away we go. This should not be able to spread to the desert now. Cool. Okay, so guys, we have ourselves a home... Wait, did I just hear the crimson music? No, I didn't. I'm hearing things. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've got ourselves a homemade crimson biome, and uh, yeah, we'll just leave it to go over time, and then hopefully we should be able to take down the perforators and brain of Cthulhu. That'd be kind of cool. But ladies and gentlemen, that is indeed going to wrap it up for today's episode. I would like to thank you guys for watching, and more so for the amount of hints, tips, and suggestions and support you have been showing this series. I really, really do appreciate it. Of course, if we can keep up the thousand likes per episode, I will continue with the daily weekday episodes. Monday through Friday, five episodes a week. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future episodes. And that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.